We are the first sugyan of Zayin Amud Bet. Amar Rabbi Chia Bar Avin, about 21 lines from the top. Rabbi Chia Bar Avin said, Rav Tzali Shel Shabbat Be'erev Shabbat. He said, one time, Rav, pray the tefillah of Shabbat Be'erev Shabbat. This is what we saw like a bunch of times in the previous Amudim. And Rabbi Yoshia, Rabbi Yoshia, Matzlisha Motzei Shabbat B'Shabbat. And Rabbi Yoshia prayed the tefillah of, Shab- of Motzei Shabbat, meaning Arvich of Motzei Shabbat. He said it while it was still Shabbat. Or let's say Shabbat was over at 6 o'clock. It was, let's say 6 o'clock was Tzeta Kochavim. He said, Arvich of Motzei Shabbat, he said it at 5.45. And if you remember, in the Aravit Shomotzei Shabbat, be Atachonen, Anachnu Mosifim, Havdala, Atachonan Tano. Okay? So this is what happened. He's just reporting the facts. Now, now that we know that Rav Tzali Shal Shabbat Be'erev Shabbat, who it Palel Tfilah Shal Shabbat Be'erev Shabbat, we're now on the first middle size line. The Gemara, Shorat Sheila. Omer kedusha ala kos, or eno omer kedusha ala kos? Do we say that he says kedush on a cup of wine, or does he not say kedush on a cup of wine? Omer Tashma. Da Amar Rav Nachman, Amar Shmuel. So come, listen to this proof that we're about to bring, and if you see, it's Rav Nachman quoting Shmuel. Shmuel is a name we haven't seen yet. Rav and Shmuel were contemporaries. They're both first-generation Amoraim. Rav Nachman is a second-generation Amora. We've seen his name once before. So he said the name is Shmuel. This is a proof. Mitpalel adam shal Shabbat be'er of Shabbat. If a person prays the tefillah of Shabbat be'er of Shabbat, meaning you did Shabbat early, v'omer kedusha alakos, and then afterwards you can go and say kedusha on a cup. Behilchata kevate, and the halacha is like him. You're allowed to do that. So we might think that since it's kiddush on the cup, right? Kiddush ala kos, you have to say kiddush once the the night, once it's nighttime. We see it's, it doesn't go according to nighttime. It goes whether or not you accepted Shabbat. If you accepted Shabbat. You could say Kiddush. And if you did not accept Shabbat, you can't say Kiddush, right? That's, so that's what it goes. It has nothing to do with nightfall. Rabbi Yoshia Matzli Shel Motzei Shabbat B'Shabbat. Rabbi Yoshia, we kind of like do the opposite thing of Rav. He prayed the Tefillah of Motzei Shabbat, meaning Aravit Shel Motzei Shabbat, with Havdalah and Atachonen. He prayed that while it was still Shabbat. Now, Omer Havdalah Lakos, or Eno Omer Havdalah Lakos. Can he go and do Havdalah, like completely Alakos? And here, our biggest issue is not the Havdalah saying the word, the issue is Bore Meore Ha'esh, right? Lighting the candle is the issue. So, could he light the candle? Yes or no? Tashma, come listen to this proof. To Amar Rav Yehuda, Amar Shmuel. At this time, Rav Yehuda said in the name of Shmuel. Notice, it says Rav Yehuda and not Rabbi, because Rabbi Yehuda is the nas, is the Tana from the Kufav Usha, right? Together with Rabbi Meir and Rabbi Yosi, okay, and Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. However, this is Rav Yehuda who was a second generation Amora. So there's a couple generations between them. Don't get them mixed up. So what happened? What are, what's the proof? Mitpalel adam shal motzei shabbat. B'shabbat, the person can pray the tefillah of motzei shabbat. Aravit shel motzei shabbat. And you can pray that b'shabbat. Vo'omei havdalah alakos. And afterwards, you can go and say havdalah alakos. Yeah? Amar Rabbi Zera, Amar Rabbi Asi, Amar Rabbi Elazam, Amar Rabbi Hanina, Amar Rav. So we have a big chain, you see, of 
Rabbi Zera, who quoted Rabbi Asi, who quoted Rabbi Elazar, who quoted Rabbi Hanina, who quoted Rav. So this is already five generations down that this teaching was, was transmitted. Bitzad Amud Zeh Hitpalel Rabbi Yishmael Rabbi Yossi Shel Shabbat Be'erev Shabbat. Rav said, next to this pillar, next to this pillar, so n- next to this pillar, Rabbi Ishmael, Rabbi Yossi, prayed the tefillah of Shabbat, prayer of Shabbat. So here, Rav is showing how Rabbi Ishmael, the son of Rabbi Yossi, prayed this. So he's showing Eitana did this. Right? He's, he's saying, hey, only a generation ago, two generations ago, Rabbi Ishmael did this. This is, if you notice, this is Rabbi Ishmael, Rabbi Yossi in Tkufat Sipori, right? That's Rabbi Yossi's son from Usha, right? So Rabbi Yossi from Usha had a son, Rabbi Ishmael in Sipori. So Rav is testifying that, he, that Rabbi Ishmael prayed Tfilah um, Shabbat, Be'er of Shabbat, next to this pillar over here. And Ki Ata Ula, Ula came along. Ula was the name of an Amura. Ula was the name of Amora. I believe that is not his real name, but they called him Ula Milashon Ole because he used to go back and forth between Babel to Eretz Israel, and he would learn from the rabbis in Babel and learn from the rabbis in Israel, and he would bring the teachings back and forth between the different yeshivot in Babel and Eretz Israel. That's why he, they called him Ula because he was always going up to Israel. In any case, Ula said. Bitzad Tamrahav. He says, number one, it wasn't next to a amud. It wasn't next to a pillar. It was next to a palm tree that Rabbi Ishmael, you know, prayed. And below Bitzad Amud Hava. And it wasn't next to a amud. It wasn't next to a pillar. Below Rabbi Ishmael, Rabbi Yossi Hava. And by the way, it wasn't Rabbi Ishmael, the son of Rabbi Yossi, who prayed this. Ella Rabbi Elazar Rabbi Yossi Hava. This is Rabbi Elazar, the son of Rabbi Yossi. Different son. You got you got you got your whole story wrong. For those shall Shabbat be erev Shabbat Hava, and it wasn't the tefillah of Shabbat, an erev Shabbat. Rather, Ella shall motzei Shabbat be Shabbat Hava. It was the tefillah of Aravit shall motzei Shabbat be Shabbat. So Ula completely takes what Rav said, and he has a different tradition. According